Hello everyone. Today I want to remind everyone of something that is a very powerful healing strength and that is the reminder that you are not alone. Now I know this statement can be overused but in the world of family struggles and separation it's more needed than ever before because family struggles are still not talked about openly. Now we can exist with all our struggles without hearing or seeing others share the same experience. We can feel that the weight of our struggles is impossible to carry because we feel like we're carrying them alone. But the truth is you are not alone. Family struggles affects one in four people. Absolutely every way you turn, you are bound to face someone who is either personally experiencing struggles or knows someone in their family that is. So today I want to share with you some voices that don't get heard, voices that exist in silence. Now, these are statements shared with me from people within our community that are experiencing struggles within their family. It is them voicing their concerns, upsets, and what they believe their biggest issues and challenges are. And like I said, the reason why I want to share some of these today is to remind us all that we are not alone, that our challenges are common, and that there is an army of people around us that would say, I understand what you're going through, and you have all my love to support you. When we hear the stories of others, when we hear that others are experiencing exactly the same thing we are, it truly helps calm our mind and it empowers us to know that we do not face our challenges alone. So without giving names, I'm going to read out just some of the many statements I get from people in our community, giving voice to their greatest challenges, upsets or issues. My biggest issue is to be able to peacefully and acceptingly go on. My daughter is in a cult that encourages cutting ties with family. I want to be able to feel comfortable around my estranged family member when our paths cross. My biggest issue is not feeling loved and heard. I feel nothing will change after nine years of no contact. My son talks to his father, but not to me. The fracture of the relationships between your non-estranged children with the estranged child. My daughter doesn't speak to me. How to heal from the pain of estrangement. Not knowing how my family member is doing in life. Handling jealousy of friends who have perfect relationships with their family. Not being able to spend time alone with my grandson. My parents don't accept me as who I am. My mother has severe mental illness and we have no relationship. Not being able to see my grandchildren grow up. How to start the difficult conversations towards forgiveness and acceptance of what was. Feeling like no one cares about me or what happens to me. Accepting that my brother sees and remembers past events different to me. My family puts pressure on me to reconcile and get over it. My sister blames me for trauma our parents started. I suffer guilt and debilitating grief. I'm always walking on eggshells. I struggle with low self-esteem, acceptance and self-care. Not being able to reconnect with my son. Lack of communication and issues of misunderstanding. Issues of parental alienation. My mother and my daughter don't speak to me. I am the scapegoat and target for all gaslighting in my family. Coping with the pain that reverberates through the whole family and being the mum and not able to fix it. Overcoming sad memories and reminders. Healing from the pain and loss and creating a new life while feeling terribly betrayed and rejected. Generational trauma. Lies being told about me to other family members. How to support siblings of my estranged son as he hasn't spoken to them in years. Struggling with a financially dependent family member. Another person's negativity and rewritten history in their head. Our daughter-in-law won't allow our son to bring the grandchildren over. Being able to accept reality, sadness and loss is my greatest challenge. My sister took over all power in our family. My husband doesn't take the situation seriously enough. I wonder how to reconcile after years of estrangement. 
I suffer guilt over walking away from trying everything. No hope left after six years. Understanding the role of mental illness in the estrangement. Understanding why this has happened to me. Now that is only a very small selection of all the messages I receive from people sharing their stories. I get messages from all across the globe, from every continent, sharing with me the same issues, challenges and upsets as each other. And I don't share these to paint a bleak picture. I share them because I believe it is so important that we all recognize how common this is and the truth that families have relationship issues and challenges and separation. It is common and it is normal. And we need to recognize this so that we stop blaming ourselves, stop feeling like we're abnormal or broken or that there is something wrong with us or that we are living with something that can't be overcome. Now, the other strength found in solidarity is that when we realize we're not alone, we can more easily accept our reality and then take the steps needed for moving forward and healing. It is much easier to accept our reality when we see others experiencing the same thing. And when we stop fighting our reality, we are more easily able to overcome another big roadblock, which is common in the area of family struggles. And this is the reality that in the world of family struggles, many people exist with the mindset that I'll be happy again when. For example, I'll be happy again when things are resolved with my family member. I'll be happy again when I overcome grief and loss. I'll be happy again when I stop blaming myself. Or I'll be happy again when I find the answers. Now we can exist in this place for a long time, believing we have to completely overcome our struggles before we can find happiness again. And this is because people can often believe that our state of mind has to be one or the other, happy or sad. Often people believe it can't be both. Either life is perfect and we're happy or life is hard and we're depressed. Either things are going well or things are going bad. Either life is a blessing or life is a struggle. Either you're happy or you're sad. But this is simply not true. And in the area of family struggles where we face the reality that our situation can last a long time, this is a very debilitating position to exist in. If you are waiting for things to be completely resolved before you can experience happiness, then you could lose years of your life. And the truth is, life can be many things at once. Life is an infinite blend of millions of things happening at the same time. And we are intelligent beings. We are capable of multitasking and achieving thousands of things in our lifetime. In any given day, we can experience and display a range of emotions and partake in a huge range of activities. And that is because we are capable of doing and feeling more than one thing. And that is because life is complex and can be many things at once. So it is possible to have grief in our life, yet still have moments of joy. It is possible to have sadness and happiness in our heart. It is possible to have moments of feeling depressed and moments of finding joy. It is possible to have bad days and good days. Now you don't have to ignore your situation or ignore times when you feel sad, but you also don't have to feel guilty when you have times of happiness or be disbelieving that you can find happiness. Feeling joy in your life again is not going to invalidate your situation or your feelings. It is not going to mean that you no longer care about your situation or your family member. It is not going to mean you no longer have love and compassion. You do not have to feel guilty for being happy because you deserve happiness. You deserve love. And like I said, it's not one or the other. It's not I either have successful relationships within my family or no love in my life. Life is many things. It's not one or the other. It's not struggles or joy. It can be all things at once. And also healing from anything, overcoming challenges, it takes time. So don't rob yourself of happiness while you are on your healing journey. Look for moments of joy around you. Treat yourself to things you love. Don't feel guilty for laughing or putting your happiness first. So remind yourself of these truths that I've shared today. 
that family struggles are normal and you are not alone. And it is possible to face these challenges and still experience happiness in the world around you. And now the good news is that I also receive many messages from people sharing with me that they have found renewed strength and happiness in life again. I am constantly helping people and being told by them that they have found peace in their life and have healed from past trauma, grief and challenges. I am one of them and I have helped many others do the same. Family struggles and relationship issues can be faced and overcome. So wherever you exist, know that you are not alone and believe that you will overcome your struggles and find peace again. And I would love for you to stay connected with my YouTube channel for continued support and insight and shared tools for how to face and overcome family struggles. So thank you for watching today. And I look forward to staying connected.